Welcome everyone to the temple for Gera Atomica. And we are kicking things off with an absolutely monumental match. Trish Stratus, the AWW Women's Champion, she will hook her belt up above the ring. However, that is not the only title on the line here tonight, let alone this match. By order of Dario Cueto, this match is not only for the AWW Women's Championship, it is for, for the first time ever, the Lucha Underground Women's Championship. Absolutely incredible. A ladder match with two titles, one debuting, and the competitors, three women, who have had quite the rivalry up to this point, who have grown to loathe and despise one another. It was Dakota Kai who betrayed Trish Stratus. It was Jessica Knight who scored a surprising victory over both women. Trish Stratus, though, retained the AWW Women's title against Knight. However, in a ladder match, anything goes. This is gonna be fun. And there it is. The Lucha Underground Women's Championship. The bell rings, and here we go! Trish Stratus and Jessica Knight going at each other with some strikes. However, is Stratus takes advantage with a bulldog first. Kokai taunts, and Stratus says, nah. Kaido responds, some big kicks. Kick to the head, knocks down the champion. Now Kai and Knight. Kodakai with a bulldog to Jessica Knight. Here's Trish Stratus. Round and round she goes. Down goes Kai. And a big Luthes press. Atomic drop and double boots by Knight. A great opportunity for all three women here tonight. For Trish, she could defend her title, the AEW Women's title, and then she could win the Underground with title, be a double champion. But obviously for Kai and Knight, I think it'd be even bigger to not only take the rival from your title, the title from your rival, but also be the first ever Lucha Underground Women's Champion. Here in front of the Virtual Believers. No distractions, just competition. And this is a ladder match, the only way to win, to climb to the top and retrieve the title hanging above the ring, or in this case, the titles. 
Dakota Kai, though, first one to grab a ladder as Jessica Knight stomps away at the hands of Trish Stratus. It's smart, it's a ladder match, so you have to climb, you have to grab things. If you don't have hands, it doesn't work. Big close eye by Trish, takes down Knight. Dakota Kai with a second ladder, which is interesting, but she doesn't get a chance to use it. But here's Jessica Knight, she'll use it. And Knight, the first one to climb, and she has the title in her hands. But Stratus pushes the ladder away, and down goes Knight. And down goes Trish. Dakota Kai understands the objective here in this match. She's been in ladder matches before. She was the first one to bring a ladder in and the first one to use it as a weapon. Now Kai trying to win the match with Trish Trash right there. Not letting that happen. Now Stratus. Oh, Trish Trash and Dakota Kai, the former friends, now turn bitter rivals. A top of the ladder. And down goes Trish. But Trish though, shot of adrenaline. Kicks down Knight. And now back up goes Trish. Going for round two, Kai. Team off on Trish on top of the ladder. Oh, here's Jessica Knight. Jessica Knight, and down they go! Kai and Trish falling all the way down to the ring. And Knight looking to take advantage. Trash is down. Now beating the hell out of Dakota Kai, who's had enough. And now Knight gets to the midsection. Power bomb into the backbreaker. Almost a lung blower. As Stratus avoids more damage. Another atomic drop and another double boots. And Trish Stratus. Knight continuing to work on the arms and the hands and the fingers of the defending champion Trish Stratus. Kodakai in the ring. Knight meets her there though. And now Knight plays the ladder in the center of the ring. Kai not going to let Trish go anywhere near that. Oh, but here's Trish now again taking the ladder out from Dakai. Oh my god! Dakota Kai powerbomb onto the ladder. Jessica Knight is done. Now Kai with the ladder. Trash just pretty much takes her down, takes the ladder with him. Made her pay for her mistake. Go to Kai. Has Trish on her shoulders. Going for the go to kick. Strash though flips out of it. And a big boot. Call it the GTK, call it the detonation kick, whatever. Stratus though. Meshed about and now picking the advantage. Bit of Stratus faction, Bulldog to Dakota Kai. I'm sure that was satisfying to Trish Stratus after what Dakota Kai did to her. But Jessica Knight drops. And now Knight taking flight. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a And now a ladder shot down so, goes Stratus as Dakota Kai plays a second more ladder. Jessica Knight somehow it. able to it's grab to the title. Dakota Kai you you not going to let that happen. <laughs> and down goes Jessica Knight. Knight able to avoid whatever Kai might have had planned. And oh my god! Suplex dropped her right on the neck, right on the head. Dakota Kai is outside the ring. And now Trish with Jessica Knight. There are a lot of ladders here. Oh boy. Another bulldog. 
Knight and Stratus colliding with the ladders. And now Trish. Looking to take home the gold. Will she do it? She will. Trish Stratus is the first ever underground women's champion. And not only that, she's a double champion. Adam Cole back in action in the underground. We lost saw him about to be in a match against Santos Escobar before he was attacked by the returning Sean Ace. Adam Cole looking to carve a name for himself here in the underground. Dario Cueto prides himself on an open door policy here in the temple. And Alex Riley looking to take advantage of that. This man has not been really in wrestling at all for years, pushing a decade. Now looking to have a strong first impression against Adam Cole. We'll see if Alex Riley is more than just a killer song. We'll see if Adam Cole can rebound. And we have to rebound after what we just saw. A triple threat ladder match for the AWW Women's title and the debuting Lucha Underground Women's Championship. And it was Trish Stratus walking away with both titles. And after this match, it gets even better. The Lucha Underground Championship is on the line. Anything goes. Drew McIntyre and William Regal. We'll talk more about how that came about when it comes. But for now, Adam Cole, Alex Riley, and currently Alex Riley dropping the elbow on Adam Cole. The Russian leg sweep by Riley. He always had the fundamentals down. Could never quite reach the pinnacle in his first go around in wrestling. We'll see if he can here in the temple and a win against Adam Cole be a good first step. However, Adam Cole is someone who has reached the top of the industry before. Of course, you might remember his monumental reign as NXT champion 
Some say it went on for too long, but it's not my place to say. He was dominant. He had allies. However, here in the temple, it hasn't quite been that way yet. For Star, he doesn't really have any allies this time. But right now, showing he's still as impressive as ever, teeing off with strikes on Alex Riley, though, who catches the super kick, something that Cole is known for, and takes him down. Riley obviously studying the tape. Always was a smart wrestler. And it makes sense to kind of target the lower body considering what are Adam Cole's big moves. You have a super kick, you have a last shot, and you have this. The Florida Keys by Adam Cole. Riley though manages to kick out. Blacks another kick from Cole. And now Riley with a backbreaker to Adam Cole. That looked like it hurt. And now Riley just tossing around Adam Cole. Cole though blocks that chop. Riley again avoids the super kick. Can't avoid that one. Super kick by Adam Cole. And you can insert your own Bebe chance here. However, Riley showing off his strength. Just deadlifting Adam Cole to almost a super German suplex. Riley missed the kick to the knee. Big super, double super kick by Adam Cole. This match is brutality starting to show on him. For all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition. Cole really relying on those super kicks as Riley, though. Wise to them. Dragon screw by Riley. And by Cole. Now Riley. Hitting Cole with an STO. Another double super kick by Adam Cole. And now he beckons Riley to be on his feet. Kick to the knee. You only get one. Make your last shot count. But he missed. Adam Cole missed. Riley ducked the last shot. We'll see if that was Adam Cole's last shot or not. Currently, though, he's still putting the boots to Alex Riley. Now Riley, back suplex to Cole. Cole looking for a kick to the knee again, but Riley, though, says, nah. And Riley again, the neck breaker of sorts. Cole though able to recover and she's beating the hell out of Riley right now. Hitting off with strikes, big super kick. This is Adam Cole's chance. What's he gonna be able to do here? Another super kick. And again. Cole targeting the head. And these repeated super kicks are going to do a number. Riley though, snapmare. Big boot. And stopped in the leg. Just to be a dick, I guess. Big chop by Riley. Oh 
Riley sends Cole into the ropes. Cole, though, able to close the distance. Riley, though, able to counter back with a chop and another snapmare and an elbow to the top of the skull. Again into the ropes. Cole, though, able to counter into a brain buster. Brain buster by Cole and another kick out by Riley. Riley trying to catch Cole by surprise. And now Adam Cole looking for another last shot, but he missed again. Cole, though, avoids that shot from Riley. Super kick missed. Both these men not wanting to be hit by the other's big move. Some days more noticeable than others. Another double super kick by Cole. And Adam Cole playing to the virtual believers here. Live video feed. All the fans of the underground. Cole just teeing off on Alex Riley right now. But Riley though, another neck breaker to Adam Cole. Now just teeing off on Cole himself. Riley with another backbreaker to Cole. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is here we go again. And now Riley drops out of Cole. So glad I found him to win. Makes a cover. Two. An impressive debut for Alex Riley. Session. The man who has held 
countless championships in his career, a truly all-time great of the grappling game. And his opponent, representing the Anarchist from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 240 pounds. This match was originally supposed to be Drew McIntyre versus Walter for the title. However, he suffered an unfortunate accident, and we have no clue, no rumors what happened. However, William Regal, the man to benefit, and if he wants to become champion, he's gonna have to be even more vicious than he's ever been in his entire career. Kendo sticks, garbage cans, chairs, ladders, throw in the kitchen sink because you get nailed. Drew McIntyre and William Regal. Really? It's not that much of a difference between Walter and Regal. Which is why it is William Regal, also a ring general, a master of wrestling. However, one of the most dirty, vicious, evil minds in wrestling. There are no limits. There are Not no above breaking a couple rules to get what he wants. And, Every well, this match, because it's for the title, it's anything goes. It's a Dario Cueto specialty. He doesn't just want you to win. He wants you to beat the hell out of your it's opponent. And that is perfect for both of these men. Drew McIntyre. With a bit of nostalgia coming Look out to the this. ring, but clearly has put on his game Drew face McIntyre. just tossing Regal. Yeah, McIntyre sends to Regal to the corner. Oh, look at this, just raw and now Regal, brutality. Alabama slam. Inverted Alabama slam. We know how vicious McIntyre can yeah. be. And Walter out with an unfortunate quicker. accident. Many people are pointing the finger at Drew McIntyre because we saw McIntyre lay waste to Walter and the entirety of Imperium. Marcel Bartel, Fabian Eichner, and Alexander Wolf, all with Claymores. We've seen him destroy the Miz and Axis. Hold on, Regal going for a cover. McIntyre kicks out. They're saying we've seen how vicious McIntyre can be in matches against The Miz, Austin Theory. We saw how resilient he can be in matches against Roman Reigns and attacks by Roman and Imperium. Regal though we haven't seen too much of here in the temple. In his debut, he defeated Tucker and then he won a fatal four-way over Sean Ace and the debuting Bobby Lashley and Seth Rollins. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. McIntyre takes Regal sky high, but Regal able to get the shoulder up. And remember what I said, this match is no disqualification, so McIntyre, of course, Brings out the wood. Take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. No, he's not done yet, though. Setting it up on the ring apron. Oh, now he and Regal both looking for weapons. Is McIntyre pulls out a damn ladder, and Regal pulling out a sledgehammer. He's out. McIntyre. Regal. Back in the ring as McIntyre trips up Regal with a sledgehammer. It's Regal right in the skull. Regal though. Big suplex on the sledgehammer. Count breaker by McIntyre. Couple big chops by both men. But McIntyre just loving blow back. And McIntyre setting up the table. Looks like he has something planned with this table, guys. Oh, the people man. here, the virtual believers, they are loving this. As oh boy, McIntyre! Oh my God! He's on his heels. Can he do it here? That's it. It's over. Two, 
And Regal somehow gets the shoulder up. Like I said, McIntyre absolutely vicious. Regal though responds with a knee trembler. McIntyre turns things around. I was gonna say Regal needs to turn this a match around now and quickly. He might have done so with that big knee. McIntyre catches Regal air raid crash. Oh, McIntyre beating the hell out of Regal. Regal getting a little bit of a breather. All part of his strategy. Oh, but he couldn't think of that one. Runs right into a Claymore by McIntyre. But Regal, showing his resilience, gets the shoulder up. His beating heart will not be stopped. McIntyre won't lose focus, though. He's got to remain as sharp as he was. And looking ahead to the big matches that we have for part two next week for Guerra Atomica, Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley in a rematch. Not only that, a huge tag match, elimination, the Atomicos match. You have to work together. The winning team can begin the fight to become the number one contender for the world heavyweight title, the Lucha Underground title, held by one of these two men McIntyre or Regal as McIntyre just dumps Regal throat first on the ropes. Now McIntyre sends Regal out to the ladder that he bridged between the apron and the announce table as McIntyre. Oh boy, Regal avoids disaster. He most certainly avoided Potentially a huge injury. It's never good going through a ladder. He knows how to avoid contact. Regal though, taking off with strikes and just bouncing McIntyre off the ladder. Regal showing his grit, his resilience. The overwhelming, the at times incredibly overwhelming offense by McIntyre as Regal taking things back to basics. To the back. Just stomping on the lower part of the back. And that seems to be the focus for Regal. Big close line by Regal. McIntyre on his feet. Claymore by McIntyre. They can't hit him out there on the floor. I'm sure McIntyre does not need me telling him that. McIntyre, though, electing not to go for the cover. Again, tries carrying Regal, but Regal comes out the back door, takes out the leg. McIntyre, though, absolutely refuses to stay down. Regal avoids that big boot, takes down McIntyre. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. Just breaking down the opponent. That dodge can buy true time. Regal and McIntyre. Going counter for counter, back and forth. Regal, though, with the advantage now, big uppercut drops McIntyre. And now Regal. He hits the Regal cutter. Now going for a cover. Is this it? McIntyre gets the shoulder up at two. Termination from the Scotsman. Not many men would kick out in that situation. How draining was that? Can it be done again? Can that maneuver? 
ever be summoned at least one more time? Oh, McIntyre holding him at McIntyre. Back. Had to be careful there. Able to reverse that one. And Regal is one step quicker. Reversal on top of reversal. And Regal. Big suplex to McIntyre. Oh, my God, and a spine. That'll make your legs go numb. And Regal's maintaining the advantage now. Yeah, Regal is executing now Regal, his game double plan. underhook. Suplex. Suplex. He's one step ahead there. And He's in a session block. Dragon screw by Regal. McIntyre rolls out of the ring, but he charges back in the ring. Regal back in. Oh, my good God. Somehow, and Regal, Regal avoids death. Back <laughs> tire. Suplex, but Regal steps out the back so door. And a German. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. Oh, and he is. That's going to hurt. McIntyre must be getting phased by this attack. Rarely do we see Drew get disassembled like this. Big knee it's to the midsection of McIntyre. Claymore! The third Claymore in this match. And it's over. We have a new Lucha Underground Champion. Here is your winner and new world champion, Drew McIntyre. Truly a huge win for this superstar, or should I say, McIntyre has climbed to the top of the mountain and he has won the big one here in the underground. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. Good night, everybody. But stay tuned for next week. There's more. Santa Atomica.